The Vice Chancellor of the University of Benin, Professor Lilian Salami, has called on the government at all levels to protect the rights and obligations of Nigerian citizens in the country. Speaking on behalf of the Vice Chancellor, the Deputy Vice Chancellor of Administration, Professor Kate Okonwa, at the Unwedo Renaissance Grand Launch of three education handbooks in Benin City, the state capital, said it is important for youth to embrace ethics and values in order to help fight against insecurities and build a better society. somewhat elite consensus amongst the uh, political consensus uh, and uh, amongst the middle age and older generation uh, they have not been able to reconcile all right and bring uh, proper ethics and values to bear for the younger people to learn uh, it is therefore our aim to uh, look beyond them to the younger uh, generation to teach them directly and give them the tools upon which they can build to go and research so these handbooks are not by themselves encyclopedia they're not ex exactly for uh, they're not in in, its total, in their totality uh, all the information but they give you a lead as to what you should know and begin to research into however some of the guest speakers who spoke at events said that the Unwedo Renaissance building a better economy and creating awareness for the rights and obligations of citizens in the country I think uh, Unwedo has is touching on three critical areas uh, ethics and values with these publications that they have launched today, the booklets, Ethics and Values, uh, um, and they are talk, touching on uh, how to build the economy uh, through, for, they are they're focusing on cottage industries, and they are also focusing on the citizens' rights and obligations. These are very important uh, building blocks that must be in place. And so my take home is that we must all do our bit. Uh, we must all work together, collaborate with those who are in authority, uh, to ensure that a nation emerges, a viable nation emerges, uh, and, uh, and uh, resilient people emerge in, in that nation. It is the supremacy of the law, the rule of that law, the obedience and adherence to law by every member of the society. That is not the case with today's Nigeria. So we can start with that by informing ourselves appropriately that we have a long journey on the road to citizenship, but we are nowhere near there. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.